Hello <coughs> and welcome to Kerala Market, our daily show on Nifty, USDNR and Bank Nifty. Uh, so what do we do here? We look at Nifty, we look at Bank Nifty, we look at USDNR, we look at open interest data, we look at charts, we look at FIDA data and we figure out what is the market most likely to do tomorrow. We draw out a two few scenarios. We uh, look at the potential trades we can do in these scenarios and we finally conclude with what are we going to do with our portfolio. Uh, this is our format and uh, on that note let's get started with today's analysis now there's an important lesson in market today and that lesson is this right there is not much of a point to trade on days when there is no US markets so if there is no US markets it's not really worth it to trade so I'll tell you where is this classically true so during the time of Christmas, right, uh, it's called Santa Claus Rally. Most probably it is very low volume rally <coughs> towards December 23rd to 27, 28, 29. Basically, most of the people who are trading seriously, they are on vacations. Not too many people are trading then. There is no serious money in the markets and market does either or gujbi without volumes, right? And that is usually the trend when there is no US markets and when there are no global queues. So today was one such day. To be honest, there wasn't much to do today. And we were talking about it yesterday also. That there's no point in shorting till 8, 15, 8, 50 is broken. And there's no point in uh, sorry, there's no point in going long till market goes above 15, 8, 50. And there is no point in going short till 5700 is broken. So today, um, oh my screen is visible is it so sorry sorry so i'll just put myself in the corner <laughs> so i didn't realize that this was coming as a thing so today right um, uh, who said that uh, whoever said that oh, pratyush pratyush thank you very much i didn't realize that i was coming in the middle so i'll go to the <clears throat> so i was thinking that obs puts me in the corner automatically but i realized that i'm coming in the middle so net net right on a day when us markets is not there it's not very rewarding to trade simply because kuch bhi time pass chalega santosh is asking tomorrow gap up or down gap down tomorrow most likely santosh it's a flat opening but here's the catch right what will you do with that knowledge now because anyway it's not going to be of any use now right unless you are trading something else right now so the important point is not knowing where it will open tomorrow. The important point is knowing what will you do regardless of where it opens tomorrow. So the most <coughs> important thing is this, right? Uh, tomorrow morning also there will be some time pass trading till US really comes alive. So today was largely a time pass day because there was no US markets. And if you look at volumes today on Nifty futures, right? Let's look at that. This is not extremely high volumes. It's somewhat low volumes, but <laughs> some volume, but there was no clear direction market open gap down. Then it tried to go up. Then it tried to come down. Largely, we are still in a very tight range, right? But here are some important points. Number one, on a daily time frame, we have a very tidy bullish <laughs> hammer here, which could be a positive sign. And now it has a confirmation so decent bullish hammer with a confirmation with a small candle so there is a possibility that we might see some upside but till 15850 to 5900 zone is broken there's no point in going long because the market is stuck in a range right so let's wait for the range to break so the first thing is that still there is no reward in going long here till we have clear sense of direction so if it goes above this level this is a long if it goes below this level this is a short so that is something which we have always made clear out so it's now stuck in that range in fact straddle selling call selling put selling anything could have worked out in the last few days right that's number one now let's look at open interest data if you look at open interest data one thing is very clear <clears throat> there's a lot of open interest being added at 15700 levels and that is going to act as a strong support today also 5700 was the single biggest OI and here you can see that 5700 has a lot of cumulative puts. The first cumulative big call is 60,000. So this is our range. Uh, 5700 is going to be difficult to break, right? Yeah, one second. 
I have a horrible, horrible allergy. Uh, I don't know why it's starting now, but anyway. So 50 serrated is a huge put buildup. 50, uh, 900 plus is a huge call buildup. If you ask me, there is a genuine uh, possibility <coughs> that the market can break out on the upside. Why? Because there is a bullish uh, hammer here. There is a confirmation here. And 15900 seems like it is getting threatened, right? And even if you look at weeklies, uh, market might just consolidate and go up because there's a reversal candle being formed here. So we have to watch this level carefully, not have an opinion key or market to reach a market to open a We should not be opinionated. Whatever the market does, if it breaks 5900, go long. If it breaks 5700, go short. Don't have an opinion key market to yeh karna because nobody knows what market will do, right? So yeah. So next, next point is, uh, uh, sorry, I'm just turning it off because no, I'm not keeping well at all. So now comes Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty is threatening 33,600. So there might be a possibility of some upside now, but we have drawn this level in the past also in Bank Nifty, which is somewhere over here, right? 33600 was a level to watch that has been broken. So I would not short bank nifty at this level because I genuinely think there is upside in bank nifty. So for me, <coughs> sorry, bank nifty is not a short bank nifty looks a little strong. So nifty for me is a wait and watch bank nifty for me is a long. So bank nifty looks strong. Let me write that down. <coughs> sorry. Now the strength in bank nifty can pull nifty a little bit up. That's a realistic possibility. Bank nifty can carry nifty. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's go to open interest. Sorry, open interest we already looked at. Now let's look at, to FI, look at the FI data. So in FI data, there are a lot more puts than calls, but today's activity, they bought some calls. Uh, they shorted stocks, they shorted futures. So this is bearish. This is also bearish. So net net, right? The verdict largely no change. I'm still long term bearish because of the relentless selling that the FI is doing and the fact that Nifty is below that horizontal level. I will go long Nifty only if it convincingly breaks 15900. I'll short Nifty only if it convincingly breaks 15700. This is a <coughs> this is a little bit of a low trade zone. So there is a case to argue that why don't we sell straddle? But we are getting so much closer to the eventual breakout with every passing day. So I don't think it's a good idea to gamble into what might be a very definite breakout right so i won't want to strad sell straddle now simply because it's very likely that market will break in the next few days and we'll be stuck in the straddle and if you are not somebody who easily stops out then you'll be stuck with the straddle and it'll be a loss so finally my trade is fairly simple i have always been shorting calls of longer duration i'll get out of them if 1500 breaks one thing I'm tempted to do right now with the market is because there's a lot of put build up at 15700, I might want to sell some 15700 to see what will happen the put, but I don't want to sell naked puts. I'll always try to sell a put and buy a lower put. So that's a bull put spread. Might, might, can do that, but not really because my overall long term view is a little bit more bearish than bullish. So bull put spread, baby. But overall, I'm still long term uh, bullish. This I'm doing just for a change because we've been shorting calls since God knows when, right? So overall, Nifty is strong only if it crosses 5900. Bank Nifty is strong right now, but I don't know for how long it will continue. Uh, uh, Nifty range is 5700 to 5900. Uh, till it breaks out of one of these two numbers, it's very difficult to take a trade. So it's kind of a no trade zone. So largely long term, uh, bearish view 
ultra short term neutral view short term it is going to break out somewhere view that is our overall summary right so this is our analysis for today usd inr is still stuck in a range i don't know what it will it is doing it's difficult to sit on long uh, strategies which have a theta dk but if you are doing a long strategy without a theta dk that's kind of fine so uh, yeah that is a that is the other thing so usd inr still not a short uh, the reward risk ratio is skewed in favor of longs rather than shorts uh, so I would rather go long dollar than short dollar, but it's just that it's difficult to really show any clear direction, right? So yeah, that is our analysis for today. Uh, we'll uh, uh, see you again tomorrow. Really sorry about today's show because uh, uh, not keeping well. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't think it's COVID, but there is something which is going to the route. So we'll see you again tomorrow. You guys take care and uh, you know please keep your capital safe. Uh, bye.